welcome back to our channel if this is your first time here welcome i hope you like what you see and you subscribe to continue following my family's journey i know it's been a while since i have posted a video it has been pretty stressful the past two weeks and i'm very sorry i hate not getting content up weekly on our schedule like i usually do but sometimes you know you just need a break mentally and physically so again i'm very sorry for that but here we are today um I know I have been promising a Q&A with my husband, but it is very hard to get him to film with me because he does not like to be on camera. So I am waiting until he is comfortable and comes to me and tells me he is ready to film the Q&A. I don't like to push it. I like to respect his boundaries. So I will have that up for y'all as soon as I can. Y'all just gotta be patient with me until he gets used to being on camera. But I thought I'd bring to y'all today a little pregnancy update. I mean, I haven't really done a pregnancy update at all on this pregnancy and I don't think I really did them for Ella Beck's pregnancy either so I thought it'd be a nice easy simple video I could get up for y'all today. Today is October 24th 2020. I am 25 weeks four days pregnant with our third baby girl. Uh, we call her baby O. We are not announcing her name until birth. Um, we had an appointment Thursday on the 22nd uh, just like a regular checkup on her and me, you know, make sure everything's going well. At this checkup, um, we got to see her on, my doctor has a little handheld ultrasound device. So it doesn't do like measurements and it doesn't do like sound. So we don't get to hear a heartbeat, but we get to see her, which is nice. I mean, getting to see her every appointment is pretty nice. And it doesn't print off pictures either, but but being able to see her is very nice so we got to see her on the little handheld she has a perfect side profile she's already getting chunky cheeks um the doctor agrees with me that she looks like she is very large um that we might have to watch her weight um so i might get an extra ultrasound that i don't have to pay for fingers crossed well not really i guess because if she's big that could be in complications but she does seem pretty big to the doctor as well um, she was heads down at 21 weeks when we went and got our anatomy scan, but at this appointment, I was 25 weeks, um, since it was just last Thursday, uh, she was breech again, which stresses me out because Phoenix and Ella Beck were both heads down by the 2021 week mark and were heads down at every appointment after that, so... I know I have plenty of time. Doctor really won't worry until I reach about 32, 34 weeks and she's still breech. But I'm stressed out about her being breech. I'd really like her heads down. Uh, Cause it'd really suck that our last baby is my first C-section. That'd be awful in my opinion. I mean, if I have to do it, I have to do it. I'm just very terrified of surgeries. Um, and I've had two vaginal births in the past and I would really like to have one this time. But if it comes between me and my baby and us being safe, I'll have a C-section. So she is breech. Um, my uterus is in my rib cage already at 25 weeks. Um, so that's great. She's really high up there. I'm starting to have troubles breathing when I do too much and when I'm doing my content on TikTok, which I do dances most of the time. It is taking a lot of energy out of me, so it takes me a lot longer to film my content. Um, I also had spotting and Braxton Hicks uh, October 21st, the night before my OBGYN appointment. Um, we think it's just uh, because I'm nesting really bad already and I just worked myself too hard, so it caused me to have really bad Braxton Hicks and caused me to spot a little bit um but the doctor didn't seem too worried she told me to just take it easier than i have been uh fight the nesting urge the best i can which is really hard so that happened her movements have become very very strong very quickly um i didn't start feeling her move until like 18 19 weeks and then her dad started feeling her move around 22 weeks and now at 25 weeks, they are definitely strong. And she's not really a kicker or a puncher. She mostly just likes to be an acrobat and do flips and turn and do all these weird movements more than just like jabs and kicks. So that's different because Phoenix didn't really move at all during my pregnancy and Ellebeck was definitely a kicker and a jabber. So 
very weird how all three babies had different versions of how they wanted to move in the womb. I have gained back everything I lost in that first trimester when I was very, very sick, which is good, which is what my doctor wanted. And so now I'm just trying to keep my weight gain to a 30 pound maximum um, and like a 15 pound minimum, which shouldn't be too hard for me because I'm still experiencing extreme food aversions. I only want to eat very, very specific foods, which makes it really, really hard a lot of times to eat a proper amount. So we're dealing with that too, which really sucks. Um, I'm not getting like a lot of acne on my face this time. I didn't really get acne at all with Elebeck, but I got it really bad with Phoenix. But I'm getting really bad acne on my shoulders and on my back with this baby. And it's really freaking annoying. <laughs> it's definitely one of my least favorite symptoms that I'm experiencing. And I'm not getting any sleep at all. I will go to sleep and then I wake up every two, two and a half hours to pee. And I'm sorry, my AC just turned on. I get up every two, two and a half hours to pee. Or I just wake up randomly and then it takes me like 30 to 45 minutes to fall back asleep. And I'm so hot that I can't sleep under the covers because my husband is a freaking heater when he's sleeping. So it makes it even worse. So I'm sweating and I need to pee all the time. And I'm tossing, I'm turning because of heartburn and the baby's positioning is weird. So sleep, we don't know her. Which really, really is hard when you have two toddlers. Um, so... Next month is a lot of really fun baby stuff, and I'll give you a little preview of the videos you'll be seeing. Um, November 8th is my milk bath maternity shoot. Uh, a really good friend of mine is an amazing photographer in my area, and she's doing them for me. So I will be doing a behind the scene vlog of that. And then November 12th is my next OBGYN appointment. I went from seeing my OBGYN every five weeks to every three weeks now. Since I'll be 28 weeks at this appointment, and at this appointment I'm doing the dreaded glucose test, but I got the fruit punch flavor, which is amazing, and I got the last fruit punch flavor that was in the office, so that's even better because I got to avoid the orange. The lemon lime goes so fast because it's everybody's favorite. The Sunday before the 22nd, I'm not sure what date that is, I think it's November 15th, but we will be doing a vlog of me and my really good friend who's a photographer and maybe like one other person I'm not sure yet doing a belly cast for me um, because a really amazing fan sent me a sent me the belly cast off of baby O's wish list and I will link baby O's wish list in the description below because we're doing a TikTok live baby shower December 1st so if you send anything and you're on TikTok and you put your ad in the gift message I will open it on live um, December 1st and then I will make a video on here on YouTube we're gonna say, do like a behind the scenes shoot of that too and thank everybody personally and then November 22nd is my baby shower and I'm very very excited it's coming very very fast I'm running out of time to do everything I'll be like 29 weeks pregnant so that's really exciting and then at 30 weeks pregnant, I'm going to be packing my hospital bag, baby O's hospital bag, and my husband's hospital bag, just so it's all done, and in case this little girl tries to come early, which Elevate tried to do a couple times, that way I'm just ready to go to the hospital. So those are that's all the content that's coming that has to do with my pregnancy, and I was just kind of letting y'all know that all that's coming pretty soon. Um, so yeah. Um... We have already, I have already picked out Baby O's coming home outfit. I haven't ordered it yet, but I can't put a clip in there because it's a custom. And since we're not announcing her name, her name would be on the picture and I don't want to give it away. Um, I have ordered and received the outfit she will be wearing to go visit his mama. We always go see his mama the day we leave the hospital with our babies. Um, because she's a little older and she has some health problems, so we don't want to make her come to the hospital, especially right now with COVID. Even if they let me have visitors by then, I'm not even sure how all that's going to work come January, February. So, let me go get the outfit and I'll show y'all. Alright, so here's the hat. It's just like a crochet. So there's the hat. And then it comes with these really cute little socks. 
and then here's the outfit and it, it just buttons once right up here and it's mostly cro it's all crochet as well um but I'm just gonna put like a little white onesie underneath it um, because since we live in South Alabama, I'm never sure what the weather's going to be like. And even if she, since she's due in February, um, and she might come in January, it could be 90 degrees. So that could be too hot for her and only need to wear it from the car to inside. Um, or it could be 30, 40, 60 degrees. I don't ever know until I wake up that day what the weather's going to be like. So I have that. And I have a little plate. Well, it wasn't a plate it's like a wooden sign that I had custom made off of Etsy to use to announce her name as well so we are slowly getting everything ready for baby O's arrival and it's coming really really fast um, so that's terrifying how quickly it's coming um Phoenix is very excited for her new little sister um, she will ask me every single morning is the baby coming today or the baby's here and I'm like no your new sister's not here yet and then she gets really sad and then she goes she'll be here soon and then she just goes about her day um Elebeck is get kind of like understanding I mean she's only a year and a half whereas Phoenix is three and already been through me being pregnant before so Phoenix understands a little bit more but Elebeck seems to be getting a little excited they've both felt the baby kick it sketched Elebeck out a lot and Phoenix just loves it but I think they're very excited and I've seen Ella Beck um, interacting with babies a little bit more here recently and it made me a lot less scared to know how she's gonna react with babies because she has never really been around any kids younger than her so I was terrified she was gonna she's very rough and tumble um, we like to joke and say that she's our boy uh, but I was like scared she was gonna be rough with the baby but she's so sweet and gentle with little kids so makes me feel a lot better I guess I should also do a bump update for you guys huh so let me rearrange this to where that works we were riding down the hill summer breeze came from the sea nighttime dances color so that's all I can think about to share with y'all right now. It has not been a super eventful pregnancy yet, but as we reach the third trimester, that's usually when things start picking up for me that's interesting. So only about less than two weeks. No, a little over two weeks, I think, because I'm 25 weeks, four days. So that's all I have for y'all today. Um, I will link, like I said, Baby O's wish list in the in the description below as well as all my other social medias like I usually do thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed it I hope I didn't bore you at all with my talking um we try to post weekly here on YouTube um and like I said in the beginning in my intro sometimes I do need a little break because I have some mental health issues um but we try to post weekly uh, sometimes we post more next month will be a very busy a uh, month for content so i hope y'all enjoyed the video and i hope maybe y'all go give some of our other videos some love and some attention and subscribe if you like listening to me talk bye